Oh, I had another dream the other night, Doc. About little Sheba? Oh, it was about everything and everybody. Marie and I was going to the Olympics. Only it was back in our old high school stadium. And there was thousands of people there. And Turk was out in the middle of the field throwing the javelin. And every time he'd throw it, the crowd would roar. Oh, and you know who the man in charge was? My father. <laughs> but Turk kept changing into somebody else, so my father disqualified him. And then he had to sit on the sidelines. And guess who took his place, Daddy? You. <laughs> you came trotting out on the field just as big as you please. Well, how'd I do, baby? Oh, fine, Daddy. You picked up the javelin, you know, like it was real heavy. But you threw it, Doc. You threw it clear up in the sky. And it never came down again. And then it started to rain. And I was going nearly crazy because I couldn't find little Sheba. And there were so many people there, you know, I didn't know where to look for her. And you was waiting to take me home. So we walked and walked through the mud and the slush. And the people was all crowding around us. And then, this is the sad part, Daddy. All of a sudden, I saw a little Sheba. She was lying out in the middle of the field, dead. I felt terrible, Doc. Nobody else paid any attention. But I cried and cried. It made me feel awful, that, that sweet little puppy, her white fur all smeared with mud, and no one to stop and take care of her. Well, well why couldn't you? I wanted to, Doc, but you wouldn't let me. You kept saying, we can't stay here, honey. We gotta go on, we gotta go on. Ain't that strange? <laughs>